Nearly every parent has had the experience of dealing with their child's minor illness or injury. It could be a call from the daycare or a child waking up in the middle of the night with a fever. In this situation, parents need to make decisions. Do I go to the ER? Do I wait till the morning to try to get a sick visit appointment with the child's doctor? What if there was a different option? An email consultation with the child's health care provider. In the National Poll on Children's Health, we asked parents about their experiences and preferences around email consultations with their child's doctor. We found that only 6% of parents currently report being able to do an email consultation for a minor illness or injury, but 77% were likely to use email consultation if that were available. Clearly, this is something that parents want. When we look at what parents told us about their current copay amount for office visits, compared with what they think is a reasonable copay for email consultation, we find that a third of parents pay nothing for an office visit, but nearly half of parents think they should pay nothing for an email consultation. Among parents who pay between $5 and more than $30 for an office visit, half of them thought the copay for an email consultation should be less. Results of this poll indicate that while parents may appreciate the convenience of email consultation, they're not willing to pay for it. Parents may fail to appreciate the work that goes on at the healthcare provider's office behind the scenes of an email consultation. Moreover, parents ha may have unrealistic expectations about their healthcare provider being on call 24 hours a day to answer email questions. We hope the results of this national poll on children's health begin a conversation to bring together parents and healthcare providers around the issue of payment for email consultation.